Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into the scenic beauty of the Yorkshire Dales as we explore the mesmerizing Stainforth Force and uncover the remnants of an old lime kilns. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you won't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Let's get started. The Craven Lime Works is located in England, near Lancliffe, on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales, in a rather hidden location. The lime kilns are no longer in operation, but you can enjoy a great walk around the area while learning about its history. Entrance and parking are free. You can explore the ruins by following the trail laid out around the site, marked by way markers. Where do you find it? From Lancliffe, halfway towards Stainforth, turn right off the B6479 road. The car park is at the end of the road. Limestone has been burnt in the Yorkshire Dales for centuries. The lime produced was mainly used to sweeten the local acidic farmland and make mortar for building. During the later 19th century, the demand for lime grew and industrial-sized kilns were built. In this area, you can see three different industrial types of lime kill, triple draw kill, Hoffman kill and Spencer kilns. This area was chosen for the production of industrial lime because of the closeness of the Settle Carlisle railway line. The lime produced was used for many things, from paper production to steel making, sugar refining and even chocolate production. This is the wrong direction, we just wanted to take a closer look at the quarry where the limestone was mined. Where we just walked up was an inclined plane on which tramways lay and steam-powered winding gear hauled the wagons up and down in order to supply the kiln with raw materials. The coal used to burn the limestone was carried up to the top with it. These ruins are the remains of a supporting stonework for a pair of Spencer kilns. The stone buttresses supported the gantries along which the limestone and fuel were hauled. This type of kiln produced much purer product than the other kilns on site because the coal and limestone were kept in separate chambers. Most of the limestone produced went away by rail, but a smaller amount was collected by horse and cart for local use. This building was the way house office, where the amount to be paid for the product was calculated based on the weight of the loaded carts. Here you can see the Hoffman Kill, which is one of the greatest surviving examples of its kind in the country. It was built for the Craven Lime Company in 1873. It had 22 individual firing chambers. Limestone was burned continuously in a circuit around the kill. On average, one whole circuit took six weeks. The limestone blocks was transported from the quarry to the kill on carts hauled by ponies. This type of kill was patented by the German Friedrich Hoffmann in 1858 and was first used for brick production, and later for lime burning.
the interior of the kill was lined with firebricks to withstand the intense heat. Behind the firebricks is a limestone rubble core, which helped to keep the heat in. Over the years, the rain dissolved the lime out from core and created small stalactites. Inside of the kill was the worst to work in, especially in hot weather. They often got blisterings and they drank a lot of beer to cope with it. Here you can see the remains of the third kill type, the triple draw kilns. This type was much less efficient than the Hoffman kill. Hidden in the woods is the quarry that served these kilns.
Lime production was stopped in this area in 1939, and soon after, quarrying for stone. Since then, nature has reclaimed the site, even those parts that were later used as a rubbish tip. The ruins now provide a home for birds and bats. Stainforth Force is located on the River Ribble to the west of the Stainforth village. The car park on the main road of the village is the perfect starting point for visiting the waterfall, which can be reached with a 10-minute walk. We are now crossing the 17th century Packhorse Bridge over the River Ribble, which is a former monastic road. The bridge is currently owned by the National Trust.
The waterfall is a popular picnic spot in the summer months and an attractive tourist attraction in the autumn, when salmon can often be seen leaping on their final journey upriver to their spawning grounds. The plunge pool, nestled beneath the waterfall's cascading beauty, serves as a popular spot for wild swimmers seeking a refreshing escape in the embrace of nature. Stained Forth Force has captured the attention of visitors for generations. The waterfall, cascading gracefully, creates a soothing ambience that complements the natural surroundings. It is said that this location was a favorite place of the composer Edward Elgar when he visited his friend Dr. Buck who was then living in Settle. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey exploring the Craven Lime Kilns and the enchanting Stainforth Force. If you enjoyed the picturesque landscapes, historical insights, and the soothing sounds of nature, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more immersive adventures. Your support keeps our channel alive. Until next time.